What's going on out there, YouTube? You're dealing with Terry Tyler, American Storm Chaser, and I'm motherfucking pissed off, man. Uh, yesterday, I almost died getting sucked up, possibly by the tornadoes. I'm looking at some of the imagery. I didn't think I got anything. Really trying to work on my attitude for you people, especially into 2020. I'm trying to give you the best of me. There are some people up here trying to steal the best of me and give it to somebody else. So it's a security issue. I can't just sit around and give you people shit that you can uh, throw around and treat like garbage. You know, they treat me like garbage. And, uh, you know, they say I'm a terrorist and they say I'm a bad man because of some of the posts that I've made in the past or I've gotten angry and I'm not going to lie. I won't lie and pretend that I didn't because I did at a lot of times, you know, I don't like the, you know, the, the storm, uh, storm, uh, detachment gear. And this is, like I said, I haven't made any more because some of them were like, man, they were going to shoot me over it. And uh, I said, it's not about that. You know, it's something else. And it was like, uh, it really hurt my feelings. I said, I'm not anti-Semitic no more. I don't hate blacks. I don't hate Hindus. You know, I don't hate Mexicans. I don't hate whites. You know, I you know. I try not to hate rich or poor, but now you're getting into the other strings of prejudice. And, uh, unfortunately, I've been through a lot of this stuff. And, uh, it really kind of pisses me off, uh, the way the internet has been hacked. I've been on the phone all day. The tornado, uh, struck my home county. I'm calling EF. High-end EF3, EF3 to EF4. It might be EF3. Possibly a 4. I don't know, but with the steel beams wrapped like that, we're going to have to look into that. I mean, that one really caught me by surprise. I mean, it's one of those ones, and I did compare it. Did I not? Like I said, you couldn't see that. My YouTube live streaming doesn't work. You're looking at this in the past. I have spent 15 God damned years building this network. And they're sucking off of me and they're sucking off of my brain. And if you're one of those haters out there trying to suck off of me, I encourage you to preserve yourself and respect yourself more than sucking off another man's dick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't suck me off, baby. If you don't want to let me fuck you, don't, don't, don't let me suck you. You know, don't, don't suck me. Well, see, they're pretty much wanting to butt fuck me. You know, I'm ready to work for them. They want to butt fuck me. I said, I don't need your butt fucking. You dig? So I go down there yesterday. By God. Safe and professional, trying to do the best I could. Now, this is my gosh darn business. And there is where you will see the revelation, the spies, the goddamn rats that are infesting our country. And they're destroying this country. And they're destroying more countries than that. And uh, it's uh, one of these type things that People take shit the wrong way. Uh, I come down and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think the people did me wrong. Uh, I love the people. I was down there on the front lines down there in Cimarall, uh, Highway 589, and uh, pretty much... Uh, you know, I'm in Cimarall and all this uh, stuff's going on and I'm trying to do good deeds. But at the same time, I've got to run my business. You know, I'm not trying to be ugly. They're perverting my career. 
when there are scumbags out here. And I ain't calling them scumbags, but there are some bum fuck. I'm not going to say the word out of respect. We don't use that word. And I'm not using it to anybody of any nature. I just call it all, we'll call them a, you know, across the board. They're just the, the that's a, it's one of those strings. We'll call it a, a string. That, that one thing to me, I can't deal with. They won't tolerate it with me, but they do it all the fucking time. So essentially, there's a bend, metaphysically, for those of you who are into physics and stuff, we have a bend, partial bend in the physics to where there's light. Okay, they're beaming down light. You see this? into people's heads and they're stealing their ideas. You know? You dig that? For all my, uh, you know, out there. But, you know, if you can't deal with the rat then don't drink his poison. Here's the thing. They treat us all like rats. And we don't have any other poison to buy, quite frankly. And I'm not saying it's all poison, but I'm not saying that, you know, diabetes epidemics aren't running rampant. I'm a guy that cooks myself. I'm a cook and I... I work out, used to work out at the gym and do uh, different things. And, you know, I, I opted out. They run, a lot of people just run me out. They run me out. And uh, I came up there today to serve and work with my people. I loaded up my tools and I put on my boots. And I got my boots wet and it was uncomfortable. It was cold and bitter. And it was heinous. You know, this is my stomping grounds and I've seen some heinous damage. I don't believe anybody was killed and I hope not. But that damage, when I say heinous, I mean heinous. You know, it's possibly a two-story building blown away. You're on the slab. I'm talking about steel, pieces of steel and iron, girders, trees pulled, I mean, wrapped and pulled around this motherfucker. I said, holy shit. It was unfathomable. And I got the pictures on here, and then I was down there right in the, right in the heart of it, uh, way down there near Mount Olive, uh, near Mize. Um, I was down there. I was working for my region to protect this community. And the enemies that have literally could perpetrated this whole thing is the architect of destruction is what it is, and uh, I've seen it in ways that have mortified me. And uh, caused me, drove me psychologically to places uh, I mean, Pink Floyd, uh, you know, Alistair Crawley type madness. I mean, and uh, I'm just trying to get by and give good deeds for the next rest of my life. I've reached my peak, you see, like a grasshopper. You know, you start out like this. I'm giving you a little metaphysical teaching. I'll give you more, but you got to pay. Click subscribe. And I could give you some metaphysical coaching. You know. Like I said. 
I like coaching. I got a love for coaching. Um, I'll do you right. You know, it's one of those things. The only time somebody will let me work is in an emergency. And I understand that. It's about like a soldier. Except I'm doing my own work. I'm a civilian. They treat me like shit. And uh, I'm not talking about the people of the country. And I'm not talking about our great president. I'm telling you. There's something else out there. And I'm not saying it's good. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's God. I'm not saying it's the devil. I, uh... I can't really put my finger on it. And I don't necessarily want hate it. And I don't want to hurt it. And I don't know if it wants to hurt me. And, uh... I've been on a quest... And I've, 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 you know, I've got a lot of problems and I feel like maybe I need to smash these problems. You know, all this torture has led to something good. I have suffered a lot for you. I want you to know that Terry John Tyler suffered a lot for you. I suffered a lot. I didn't, nobody really taught me a lot, man, growing up. I about like old dog, you know. They called him Wolf Boy, man. Yeah, damn dogs. You know, they treated the damn dogs better than they treated me. And I was just that abuse, that continuous abuse and abuse and violence. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the most obscene forms of torture no child should ever have to go through. But I went through it. And uh, I tried to get out. And a couple of mentors helped me. And some people helped me. And they helped me to move forward. And I've tried to move forward and do good. And you know, pretty much bury my bad deeds, but not cover them up, just rectify them. And a lot of people aren't equipped to deal with that level of honesty. You know, that, that you know, like the big book says, you can go down there and look, but we're not even talking about that. I just, I demand a rigorous level of, you know, authenticity from who I'm fucking with. If it's not, if they're not, if they're not adding up and they're not producing and it's turning into something, you know, like I said, it, a lot of times they were like, man, it's all, it's more about drinking than it is working, ain't it? Hell, I can't make them get in the truck. Well, damn boy, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have been smoking. Boy, you shouldn't have been snorting. And you go back to the day, and then you, the way they poisoned me, the government poisoned me when I was a child, you dig? My arms are all messed up. They stuck needles in my arms all the time, missing veins and forcing me to take pills and treat me like shit on the back of the taxpayers. I doubled my body weight. I look like shit. They tortured me, pretty much. Most of the school kids, they pick on me, you know. They kept me in the short bus, special ed. Oh, sped bus. Yeah. You know, motherfucker. They tortured this motherfucker from the bottom up. And then they locked me in and put me in alternative schools. I mean, I wasn't equipped. And uh, 
I get out here and it's like a dog rubbing a dog's nose and shit. You know, they train the guy, train the guy to be a fuck up. The motherfuckers train me to be a fuck up. And, uh, training me to be a fuck up and fuck up my life and fuck up my family's life. And I can't, I can't have that. I played their game for 30 years and I played my game for 30 years and I am not going to say I wasn't a bad dog, but I was not that bad of a dog compared to some of them. You know what I mean? And, uh, you got to look at their scorebook. I mean, it's really just a bunch of things to limit men and women. And degrade and punish and destroy. You get where I'm getting at? So they're fucking you in the ass. And I told him, I said, man, look, I call the cops nothing. I'm fixing to call the crooks. I don't know how to get in touch with them. All the crooks are in jail. Anybody of merit and balls is in jail. You know, they all got their jurisdictions down here. All cops, all the cops are like that. All the workers are like that. Like, basically 90% of you are just like that. And a lot more than that when you start looking at the rest of the world. So don't go there. Don't go there with me. And as far as conduct in the field, out there chasing the storm, uh, you know, I've got an excellent record of safety over the years. And uh, it's one of these things where I have taken risks, but uh, they're warping it and twisting it now. That I'm starting to win. See. I said hey buddy. Why are you driving at night? You could hurt somebody. You know. Um, hey don't, don't, don't work there son. We can do that for you. Oh don't, don't, don't handle that man. We've got it. You see what I'm getting at? They bogarden you at your shit. I said, buddy, I got it. I handle it. I've been doing it 15 years. You're trying to take it from me. So you take it from me. I got something else for you to take too with it. And you could take it right to your motherfucking grave. You understand me? Take it all the way to your motherfucking grave. You stealing from another man, another woman? You stealing? You conning, motherfuckers? You calling me a con? You call me a con? And you butt fucking me? You butt fucking my people? You like stepping on people? I'm just not going to have it, man. You understand me? If you want to have it, that's fine. But my call to action is if it's going on, you're going to have to do something about it. And if you don't, you're a goddamn pussy. And you're letting it happen. I stuck my neck out for you bastards. And my name, Terry John Tyler, when the Lord calls me home. And he says, Terry John Tyler, why? Why? What have you done? And I hope it's not to be programmed this way. But I said, hey. 
They said, Tear, why? I said, J, Jota, jelly, J, jealousy. They were jealous of their own Tyler. Tyler, builder and protector. I'll leave you with that.